You know, some people have said that I'm a bit of a fan of Walther's. I'm not really sure what they're talking about. I do have another one here, though, that I'd like to show you. This is their latest model. I'll set it down as soon as I can get these guys out of the way. Now, Walther's been around quite some time and is well known for quality, craftsmanship, engineering, also not being exactly the most inexpensive firearms out there. The Creed, just recently released, is their working man's gun. More affordable, rangeable gun, something to learn with. Let's take a closer look. Of course, you do have a chamber flag, comes with it, second magazine, your manual, warranty, and a safety lock. So, of course, first things first, we'll show clear. You see that magazine ejection? Look at that. Definitely comes clear. And if it ever didn't come clear, we've got some relief here to be able to tug on the magazine. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. All right, chamber is clear. We're good to go. Get this tag off. And let's take a look at this thing. So Walther previously had a budget model known as the PPX. Uh, it was meant to be an affordable gun uh, for law enforcement and for basic training use. Uh, they discontinued that and brought out the Creed. First gun they've put out, well, that I can think of, that uh, has an actual word for its name. It's not uh, PPQ, PPS, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, let's see if it was made to Walther standards. Starting at the front, you have a little bit of wriggle. Barrel lockup seems tight though. Very snug. We've got our front serrations and stylized Walther logo in there. Rear serrations. Rail space. Takedown lever instead of the pinch and pull type. A little bit of relief here to get the hands in there. Now this is a 15 plus 1 9mm and I can fit my large hands on it quite comfortably. The texturing that Walther has begun to use on their more recent guns like the Q5 Match. In fact, the lower half of these two is very similar which makes the Creed a great way to get into Walther's at a much more affordable price. On the back side, you might notice we are devoid of the striker sticking out because this is a hammer fired gun. Slide to frame fit, got a little bit of wriggle once more. Sights are your standard three dot. We do have a small window for a loaded chamber indicator. And the controls are not ambidextrous. The magazine release, though, is reversible. Uh, so, at least for your standard operating, left-handed people can reverse that magazine release. I would have expected Walther to just make it ambidextrous. But, once again, this is a budget model. Um, and as I said, it's hammer-fired. Watch that hammer there. Single action only. The slide kind of pre-cocks it there, takes it back into single action. Let's see what the pull is like. We have some take up, you hit a wall, comes back a little more, and then a pretty good break. Reset. It's a little long for a Walther, but not bad at all considering this is a gun that uh, I expect you'll be able to find for around $350 street price. Let's take a look at construction. Lock the slide back, turn that lever down, and the slide comes right off. No need to pull the trigger. <coughs> this is quite in interesting. This broad giant void, um, but very cleanly machined. Looks like all of the precision and care that we've come to expect from Walther. Rails are just these two little tabs, front and rear. Looking at the slide, we have zero machining marks. 
Definitely Walther construction quality. That's our safety plunger. I bet with a little bit of polish, might smooth the trigger feel a little bit. Plastic guide rod and a flat recoil spring. And here's our barrel. Decent thickness and lockup area. Quite the ramp there, and it looks like that is a completely supported chamber. Grab around and see. Now we do have a little bit of protrusion. But all in all, very nicely made, and to get a Walther for less than $400 uh, seems like quite a steal. They still have the Walther name on it, so I expect that it will shoot like a Walther. We'll get it out soon and uh, put some rounds through it and see how it performs. It's certainly better looking than the PPX was. PPX was kind of blocky. View this sort of as your, I want a gun to learn with, to train with, uh, and to go to the range with. That's, uh, that's what this fits in. No external safeties. Interesting. Certainly has a different feel, different aesthetics than uh, well, unfair comparison. There's your Q5 match and then uh, the classic P99. What do y'all think? Have you seen one at a gun store yet? Have you tried one at the range? Let us know in comments below. Thanks for watching GB Guns. And if you watch this far, you appreciate our format and what we're doing, or maybe you're waiting to make that really angry comment. Either way, click the big griffin up here to subscribe. The link over here to show you a related video based on what you just watched. Or down here is the playlist relevant to this video. Once again, we appreciate your feedback, your comments. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, and we'll see you in the next video.